the good part. Yeah. So if, if we recognize that as we experience things right now, it's not the way it has to be. And the people who are our current leaders, authorities, maybe they are where they should be, and maybe not. Why take it for granted? You have a mind, use it, think, reflect, question, share. And as we become more aware of the craziness we've been caught up in, I would hope the sanity again would prevail, so to speak, and we'd realize more our commonality. We're all in this together. Many years ago, the architect and philosopher Buckminster Fuller used the expression, metaphor, spaceship Earth, you know, saying like we're all like on this same spaceship. And at some level, we have to cooperate. There's only so many supplies. And there's only so many, you know, waste facilities. <laughs> uh, we have to work this out as a system. Uh, and that, he wasn't coming from a mystical point of view at all. He was an architect and some of a philosopher. But that's the notion we, we have to get now. So how do you begin by, as I said, visually and by the heart, start connecting and relating differently? How about using different choices in how you, uh, what you focus on, what news media, if any, you listen to anymore? Maybe invest yeah. more in actual meetings, if you can, safely with other people. Yeah, I mean, I could tell you what how, how my world has changed mm -hmm. in the last three years. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to any news media anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't do any left and right politics, any of that. None, mm -hmm. none of it makes Good any sense to me. The sides don't make any sense to me. I can see them now as manufactured divisions. Yeah. And, and, you know, we, we have to transcend these manufactured divisions absolutely um and 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 not take the propaganda that's coming in and start living like you say as the golden rule and and i also believe that we are i, I believe in individual sovereignty and i also believe that we are one <laughs> we're all connected mm -hmm. um and, and and like last night i was anticipating this conversation i was mm -hmm. thinking about imagination what do i want to imagine like like if i was a child mm -hmm. And I was, and somebody said, what world do you want to imagine? Mm -hmm. You know, now a child, I think you even refer to that in your book that, you know, that the child is the kingdom of God is, you know, be, at, be as a child to enter the kingdom of God. That's in right. scripture. Yes. And it takes a child's mind, a beginner's mind to yes. be able to really go, what world would I want? Because a child would have no problem drawing, you know, whatever they want, the sun and the flowers and the That's people. Right. And the they don't have the filters we have. <laughs> they don't have any of that. Right. They would just do yeah. that. So yeah. I was thinking about this last night and what I, the, the, my, the closing thought I had mm -hmm. before I, I slept was my, was this statement. I envision of an explosion of love flowing across the entire planet. So these are the words that came to me. And so then I started like drawing that, like in mm -hmm. my head, like mm -hmm. what would an explosion of love look mm -hmm. like? I mean, we mm -hmm. know what explosion of bombs mm -hmm. look like. Mm -hmm. And, and then I questioned, should I even use the word explosion? I'm like, yes, that's the word. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so then I'm, I'm in playing with this and creating mm -hmm. a picture mm -hmm. of, of what would it look like if all of a sudden our hearts just all open at the same time and we lay down these divisions that are false, completely false, and they are, uh, they're, they're created by some, the 1% or whoever it is out there who are well, it, it is masters. To, uh, sadly, <laughs> to a great degree. I but, think so. You know, we've also said in some ways allowed the happen. We've been asleep, you know, on our watch, so to speak. Well, and I, um, I, I envision a world, I, I think, but the last person I talked to on the podcast, mm -hmm. we talked about spirituality and government. I don't even think we need government to rule us. That mm -hmm. if we really recognize our amazing divine nature, and if we live by the golden rule and understood that, yes. and knew we, we could work with our differences without having all of this government right. and these leaders who are leading us astray most of the time anyway, and leading us into war, for God's sakes. And, and there are some groups out there that, I, that I'm involved with, right? Right now that are looking at alternative models of governance and living you know yes. it's, it's more like smaller communities uh, right right you know everyone <laughs> and, and you know it's it's, it's and you make the agreements balanced. this is yeah. what my community exactly. is going to do and exactly. you know this is what this community do over mm -hmm. there does and mm -hmm. and you know we can imagine these things and i do think you do make the point in your book that that a beginner's mind be like a child again to enter the kingdom mm -hmm. um you you have the scripture where there's no vision that people perish <laughs> where i think we are right now right Aren't right you? 
So, so I just encourage everyone who's listening to start creating this vision. Like, what would it look like if an explosion of love just flew, was flowing across the planet and landing in everyone's hearts? What would that look like? Because I don't think we really know what that would look like. You know, 